I will give a short talk about uh, a new device, not a new treatment option, but a new device for um, selective laser treatment uh, offered us from, from Zeiss Meditech. Here are my financial disclosure. The story starts in 1973 by Krasnov, and uh, please keep in mind it's eight years later than Gerd Fröbe uh, tries to kill Commander Bond in Goldfinger. And then it, it ends up in uh, 1998 as Latina published first his data on selective laser uh, trabeculoplasty. The mechanism of action is well known. It's different to ALT. You see the electronic microscopic sketch on the left, a photo on the left with a deep impact after organ laser trabeculoplasty and the difference shown on the right uh, picture with no visible uh, damage on the tissue, but there are a lot of effects causing an immediate pressure lowering effect due to the release of uh, interleukin, different types of interleukins, and th then the long-lasting effect due to the release of MMPs, uh, which are able to, to cause a remodeling of the extracellular matrix, or what John Marshall calls rejuvenation. Let's have a look on the study design. It was an interventional, open, prospective, multi-center pre-market study, uh, where five centers in Germany included Patients were with open angle glaucoma, and all of them did not reach target pressure under local therapy. And that is a difference probably to the light trial. Keep it please in mind. To keep it quite simple, we measured the pressure within a two hour window to uh, compensate for dion variations. And uh, we used the Visola screen with an option SLT as a new device for treatment. Uh, there were approximately 100 non-overlapping spots applicated over 360 degrees in one session, and uh, the follow-up was up to three months in this study. Let's have a look on the demographics. 37 uh, patients were enrolled. At least 28 patients were treated per pro protocol. 34 patients were treated. The mean age was 64.7, 60% uh, of them were male, 40% uh, female, uh, and all of them were Caucasian a region. Of course, if we treat patients uh, with open angle glaucoma, as expected, the angle was shuffer three or four, uh, but the majority, two thirds shuffer three. And uh, there was a scoring of the pigmentation which was very important for the treatment protocol. And uh, as you see, most of them showed a mild, nearly 50% pigmentation, one third a, a marked pigmentation. The IOP uh, at baseline was 21. Uh, there was no washout and we kept the uh, medication during the three months of uh, uh, observation. Uh, the Mean visual field deviation was minus 3.8, means mild glaucoma cases, as expected. And the number of uh, medications was 2.2 on average. Um, cap disc ratio was 0.6 on average. The treatment, um, as I told before, 100 spots were uh, applicated at over 360 degrees. And the laser energy, it's a little bit different to that what we know from the conventional SLT, uh, but it's comparable. It means 32.7 microjoule, and that compares to 1.3 millijoule applicated with a conventional SLT laser. And uh, the treatment area was nearly 360 degrees. So, and here we see the difference between the conventional SLT laser and the new Zeiss SLT laser. The wavelength of the lens uh, of the laser is the same. We use a, a solid state laser as well, but it's not an, a neodym jack laser, but uh, a neodym doped uh, yttrium vanadate crystal laser, but it offers the same length, wavelengths of 50, 532. Uh, but uh, we don't applicate one single spot of 500, uh, 400 uh, microns, but uh, it was a, a pattern of uh, 
at least 52 single spots. Uh, the, the pulse duration overall was 200 nanoseconds for each pulse, and the application time for one complete pattern was 280 milliseconds. That is the, the difference between the laser and another one is the way of, of uh, dosage. And there is a, was a, a titration protocol uh, due to the uh, grade of, of pigmentation. And there were three groups, low or no visible pigmentation, which uh, applicated the highest amount of energy. And uh, we lowered the energy to mild, moderate a pigmentation and the lowest energy, energy level in marked or intense pigmentation. And there are some additional features uh, in the new Zeiss laser. We have an inside view display which shows us the main parameters during treatment. Uh, there is a touch control center switch where we can adjust uh, the energy level, for example, and of course, but it's common today, and uh, a touch screen for all the uh, parameters and at the end uh, there is a, pr a printout for the treatment protocol. How about the performance at one and uh, three months really equal uh, an IOP lowering effect, mean IOP lowering effect of 3.5 millimeter mercury uh, means 16.4% uh, uh, compared to, to baseline and the mean IOP was 21 pre-op 73, 74 at month one, month three after treatment. Here we see the scatter plot, uh, and the vast majority uh, of these patients were responded to the, the SLT as expected. And if we have a look on the uh, complete success rate, uh, means 20% IOP reduction as defined in the study, what nearly 50% achieved these goal at month three. Here are uh, a comparison about the literature showing us uh, the results of uh, different studies under uh, equal conditions means patients uh, fo uh, followed medical therapy, topical therapy, and uh, there is only one exception. There's a second one with a, uh, in this uh, paper, uh, they achieved a IOP lowering effect of, of uh, over 30%, but uh, at the end of the day, this ice laser is within the range we expected, it means it's, it works uh, the way we expect. Well, how about safety? It's a very important uh, <coughs> uh, question, and um, the light trial shows us that it's, uh, with the known laser at this time, is very safe. We have to compare with these or compete with these. Uh, most of the side effects were uh, local side effects. They were related, of course, to the treatment, but most, uh, mostly um, uh, ocular surface disorders. We didn't see any severe complications. It's a real safe procedure at all. As a conclusion, uh, with the new Zeiss SLT, we have a comparable IOP lowering effect compared to other studies, to other devices. Uh, and we have a comparable safety profile. There is a different dosage strategy and a different application mode. Uh, we were talking in, in, uh, before the meeting, so we're Pela. Uh, it takes a couple of, of cases to, to uh, address this different way of, of, of dosage and the application mode, but at the end of the day, it's uh, really comparable to other devices. Thank you for your kind attention.